193? Good thing about this, though, is if I do finish this task all on Sire, the next uh, Abyssal Demons task should put me up over 1,000 KC. I'm hoping for two Unsireds. Well, let's do it, guys. So I know I did say that I was not going to sell the Bludgeon. I was going to keep this one. But I just thought of a really cool idea. Uh, and it's really high right now, so I might be able to, like, quick flip it. It actually sells for 27.8. That's really good. So hopefully it drops down and I can rebuy it. But give me a sec. Okay, as I was saying, this is what I upgraded. This is my normal gear that I use for Sire, um, especially with the Primordials. The reason why I sold the Bludgeon is that I can now use Tacits. Uh, I was thinking of maybe buying a chest plate and then using Barrack Skirt, but, I mean, I don't really know how much defense matters at Sire. Maybe it doesn't matter as much that I'm thinking, so it probably is better to maximize the strength bonus. So I have a Torso, which is the same as BCP for strength, and then I have Tacits for... This is near max strength bonus right now. Yeah, my, my melee strength bonus went up six from this that's more than 10 percent. so we should expect much better sire kills uh with this gear i don't i again i don't know if defense matters uh, i got another insired let's go all right last one was at 608 Not, it didn't even take that long wish me luck everybody that oh okay that looked like a bludgeon piece actually okay i thought it was a bludgeon piece i forgot <laughs> the dagger nice uh the dagger right now is 6.8 just straight profit hell yeah don't have to wait for the bludgeon I actually needed that money right now, too. <laughs> now that we got that extra 7 mil or so, um, I can actually afford a Bandos chestplate. Oh my god. Yes. All right. So we, for the first time on this account, have full Bandos with all the other gear upgrades. There's really not much I can do to upgrade this gear now um, for, like, at least Sire. The only thing I can think of that's better is uh, the Avernic Defender Hilt, which obviously I want to get eventually. Um, but I'm going to wait until it's probably under 200. That's a permanent upgrade, though, like, everywhere. And then, obviously, the Inferno Cape, which... Yeah, <laughs> good one. Um, so, yeah. The the difference between the Torso and the BCP is pretty minimal. Yeah, it's... it For ranged defense, is it's just night and day. Look at that. Oh, my lord. That's where it really matters. So, um, I was noticing I was struggling a little bit with the Torso uh, on the last phase. I think the defense actually does matter, so... Oh, dude, I feel so accomplished right now. I feel so dumb. If you guys remember from last video... I got an elite clue from Sire, and I also got a hard clue from uh, DKs I didn't show, but yeah, I forgot to do them, so here we are, uh, finally opening them. Uh, let's do the hard first, okay, and then uh, the elite, alright, <laughs> not sure what I expected. I'm pretty sure that's my first spirit seed drop from the good old Sire, huh. Yo, I'm back with another big stack of blood runes. I've been here for a little while. Needed some really good AFK, so I got another 4,400 made. Got me up to 81 rune crafting. A lot of this was uh, done on mobile, so couldn't get the recording, but yeah, 81. Not bad. Oh shit, Jenskins is giving me another shipment of collectibles. Got 100k salt, 500k watermelons. Thank you, man. We're over 9 million watermelons now. 700k bags of salt. Hell yeah, we're done with another Sire task. Unfortunately, uh, it has been 171 kills since that last Unsired. Oh well, better luck next time, right? But big things though, uh, 350 tasks in a row, which means 225 points. Alright though, Duradel, what are you going to give me? A Cave Kraken, okay, I'll take it. I actually kind of wanted an AFK task right now. Look at that piece of shit on the ground. <laughs> Uh, I got a jar again. Third jar in 1800 KC. Damn. I just got 96 mage and I missed it. Damn it. Well, that's good. 96 mage is really good actually because um, when I do my farm runs, I use uh, lunars. I don't know if I've made a clip or anything about how I do farm runs nowadays. But yeah, I do the lunars like spellbook swap method. And uh, 96 mage is what I need for that. So I had to boost every time. I don't anymore. Easy. Did that actually just happen? I got a black mask on the very last kill of the trip. Or the task, sorry. Wow. I don't normally do this task, but... I got a hard clue from the uh, K4s, and that was definitely worth it. Nice. Two pages. Uh, both of them being good ones, too. Nice. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Ah, I got another Kraken task, and I got a jar of dirt. Wow. Just what I want in my life. Number four in less than 2k KC. Woo. Well, there you have it. Another Kraken task done, but this one's important because I am never going to come back here on this account, probably. 
Did not get the pet in 2000, but that's fine. Um, so at 2000 KC, I stopped tracking my drops, and I will make a video out of the loot. But um, yeah, I got a parting gift of Elite Clue, so that's cool. But yeah, it was nice doing this boss. I, it's just not very efficient for me to do, honestly. It's like it's like a mil an hour profit. Uh, not very good experience at all, and it's just kind of boring. So I'm going to move on to other tasks, realistically. Um, I will do a lot on future accounts, though, so... Oh shit, we got a 168 Blue Dragon's task, which is very scary, because the last time I got Blue Dragon's, I'm 90% sure it was exactly 168 as well. 218, I was right, it was exactly 168, because I remember, I did 50 kills for the Assembler, exactly, and then I had a task of Vorkath, so that's so weird. Um, now that I have to do Vorkath, I'm gonna have to liquidate some parts of my bank to go get a Dragon Hunter crossbow to actually do this task. But now that I have Rigor... It's going to go a lot smoother than last time. I'm excited. Can't wait to do like a eight day task. Woo. Okay, we got our gift from Kraken. What are we going to get? Nice. It's that time again, guys. Uh, kind of bored. So we have five of the Dark Totems. We're going to try our luck at Scotiza once again. Although we do have pretty much everything for Scotiza. It's just, let's get some good clues. I want you guys to appreciate this fucking monster of a gear setup. I just got my third Scotiza pet. What? 31 KC third pet. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't believe... Okay, that's stupid. Dude, I need nothing. I need nothing from Scotizo, And he's still just... He's just still pooping out the drops. Oh my god. I'm not even halfway to the drop rate. The, dr the halfway the drop rate is uh, 32 and a half kills. So. Huh. Okay, uh, I'll, yep, it'll take a while to really understand what the hell just happened, but... Alrighty, now for the elite clue. The hard clue wasn't very good, but... That one, uh, was actually worse, I think. Yeah, I logged out since the, the hard. I think that might have been worse. Again, hard clue wasn't very good. Can the elite improve? I think I've gotten Musketeer Pants before. I've seen Musketeer before, alright. 200k is above average. Yeah, nothing important. But yeah, pretty eventful five kills. All right, here we go. Yay, nice. More pages. I thought I may as well make a clip on this because uh, I was planning on doing it. I just forgot to actually do it. But right, we talked about Cerberus. Now that I have 91 Slayer, uh, I do want to get into that. I just have to somehow make the money for like a Spectral on top of what I already need for Cerberus because it's very nice there. I've had Hellhounds blocked for a while because I'm not a big fan of them anymore. So, we're going to unblock Hellhounds, right? We're going to unblock Hellhounds. It's going to be an empty slot. And we're going to put Cave Krakens there. Because now that I'm done with the 2000 KC, I, it's, again, they're not very good for me. Um, with my current play style. So, I'm going to just put them there. And uh, it'll... My task variety is going to be a bit better. So, expect Cerberus content in the future. Man, the rune crafting levels take so long. Yeah, I actually got a recording of this one, though. 82, which uh, would have been important if I actually do normal earn crafting. That gives me double astrals. Yeah, I was just thinking, I do this pretty much whenever I have off time anyway. So I was thinking of maybe doing an average of 100k earn crafting a day, no matter what. And that means I would hit my 91 goal at the start of August. So I think we should keep up with that because I don't want to be earn crafting forever. Oh, and I forgot to mention, we are at 130 million total experience, too. That's pretty insane. Alright, so my personal best beforehand was 137. Look at this new kill. 120. Damn. I just, the RNG was on my side, man. Keep in mind, again, I'm not doing the Wooks walk or anything, so it's just straight DPS. This, uh, I've been trying out the, uh, Rigor Prayer. It's going pretty good. The task is a lot more lax, and I think the, the average kill time... Definitely increased by like 30 to 40 seconds. So is it worth it? 100%. Uh, the task is actually going very smooth. We still got like another over 100. This is a weird development. I got 82 crafting while doing green crafting. So uh, yeah, if you if you don't know, you do get a bit of crafting and mining during this. So yeah, that's the first, first level for that. Not bad. I also do get a little bit of crafting from birdhouses, but it's almost negligible. Okay, I was uh, grabbing the pile. I didn't even see the elite clue under it. All right, nice. I honestly have forgotten how many elites that we've gotten here, but I do know that I've been under rate. Let's do this bad boy. Okay, I do one kill for the elite clue. I have to kill a blood vel. I get a dark totem top. 
That's not like an impressive drop, but like really, that's that's not common. All right, that's funny. <laughs> I'm actually glad I was able to do that clue in my forecast gear. Here we go. Didn't even break the 100k. Okay, I'll take that uh, totem piece as a highlight though. Got another elite though. All right. Um, I've been having some like really rough kills lately because of really bad RNG. So I, I need a break. Here we go. Oh man, that was such a quick elite. Here we go. Oh, I got a master clue. Nice. That's what I'm really searching for when I do elites. I'm telling you guys, I'm just a fashion icon right now. Another master completed. And we got... Yes! I was talking about the ornament kits. Easy 5 mil. Is this the same one that I got way back when? Holy shit. That is so worth it. I would say I was complaining a lot about my clue scroll luck at Vorkath, but you are just so nice to me, man. I I just got back from the last one. My first kill since was 294. I'm at 299. I got another elite. <laughs> Lovely, dude. All right, because I had another clue um, over here. Okay, what the hell? Why am I over here? I have another clue where it's like right here for the elites, and I use the camulet to tell you there. But I constantly run out of charges, so there's actually a thing where I can spend one mil at this dude to make my camulet unlimited. So that sounds like a lot of money, but just for convenience, we're going to do it. Okay, so yeah. Okay, here's one million coins. Goodbye, rip. So really, I only use it for that clue scroll. I think there might be a clue scroll in the quarry somewhere for another tier, but that actually really hurt to do. <laughs> the fashion just keeps getting better and better. Alrighty, third elite of the day. Just getting rained on. Here we go. Oh my god, another ornament kit? Wow. That's a good one too. Dragon Scimitar, one mil. Thank you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I just spent a mil to do this elite, and I get it back. They they knew. They knew. <laughs> that looks really cool. No wonder it's a mil. Got another clue scroll elite. It's the fourth one of the task, and I kind of missed the recording because I was having like a really troublesome kill, but we did get 93 ranged a little while back. Forecast tasks are kind of insane for ranged experience because I get 500k for this task alone. That was <laughs> 45k. Now, I don't remember my other elites, like the worst ones, but that's probably up there, or I guess down there for <laughs> my worst elite. Finally finished the Vorkath task. Oh, I could have done it in like a night and a half, but it took me three, so yeah. But I gotta suck it up. It's one of the most profitable tasks I have. You know, it just hit me. I haven't really checked my bank value in a little while. I banked all my gear, don't worry. Let's see. 336. Oh my god. Regardless, though, I haven't uploaded an episode in like a week and a half, so I do apologize. It's just obviously... Takes a very long time. Um, let's end on a good note, Duradel. Give me something good. Steel Dragons. With that, though, I do stream almost every single day. And you can find my Twitch in the description. Come over and say hi. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day.